everybody, Miss Fortenberry here back in my art studio coming up with fun new art lessons for you guys. So I miss everybody and I hope everybody is staying well. So I hope you watched that video um, that I sent you it, with, about Pablo Picasso. It was a really good story uh, and shared a little bit about Picasso. Uh, he was one of the most influential artists of the 20th century. He is very famous for a lot of different styles of art, but one of his most famous styles is cubism. And so that's what we're gonna do today. We're gonna create a cardboard mask in the style of Pablo Picasso during his cubism period. So this is it right here. Um, I had a lot of fun. He's a little wacky looking, right? Ah! So I had a lot of fun creating this guy. Um, you can see where the eyes, the nose, the ears, and the mouth are, but they're a little wonky, right? You get to have a lot of freedom and a lot of fun with this. So cubism kind of ad abandons the idea that you have to have one viewpoint um, in, your, in your artwork. So it can be from maybe you're looking at part of the face from the top. Maybe you're looking at part of the face from the side. Maybe you're looking at the other half of the face from the front. So have fun with it. And um, let's see what you can come up with. You can use all kinds of found objects to it. Most of mine is out of cardboard. Um, and I just used Elmer's glue. And for this, for this half of the face, I used uh, tape. So... I need to tape that down a little bit more, don't I? So, um, Elmer's glue, tape, you can use staplers, whatever you have. Um, if all you have is cardboard, you can make a pretty cool mask out of that. You can paint it, you can use crayons, you can use markers, oils, pastels. So let me show you how I made this fun mask, and I can't wait to see your mask that you make. Here is a up close look at my finished Pablo Picasso cardboard mask. So I made sure that each side of the face was a little bit different from the other. Mixing up the colors, changing up the eyes and the ears and the eyebrows and the hair. I gathered a bunch of supplies. Some of it I did not end up using, but I wanted to make sure I had a lot at my fingertips. So cardboard tape, glue, uh, just found objects around the house. Uh, you can even see I have an old key there. Uh, bling, I have crayons, I have puff balls. You could even use um, Q-tips or toothpicks or cotton balls if you have them. So anything goes. And of course I have my paint. You do not have to use paint. Crayon works really well on cardboard also. And I do use a little bit of crayon here. The first step is to cut out your cardboard mask shape. It doesn't have to be a realistic head shape. I made this one a little bit taller on one side with kind of a, a squared jaw on it. So you decide. The next step is to color or paint your mask at least two different colors. So I just split mine right down the middle so that it made it easier for me to envision the two different styles of faces that I was putting together with one mask. Here comes the really fun creative part. So I am thinking about how am I gonna create my eyes, my nose, my hair, my mouth. So I took a small paper cup, cut it in half, and um, I'm not gluing it down yet. I wanna paint them, I want to uh, place them around on the mask and kind of play with some ideas on where I might want them and create the other shapes for the rest of my mask before I assemble it. So I've cut, cut it in half and I painted them. I painted one pink and one blue. And I'm gonna put those to the side and let dry and then I'll decide later exactly where I want to put them. I'm gonna just start cutting out cardboard shapes here and to get a really cool texture, I peeled off the top layer to reveal the rigid, bumpy uh, part of the cardboard. And so you can cut however many parts of the face out that you want out of cardboard or you can use other objects that you find. And you can see I just colored my fun, rigid cardboard pieces with crayon. You can paint it, you can color it, you can leave it uh, just brown. 
It is all up to you what you do for the parts of your face. Oh, yes, I did. I snuck in a little picture of my little boy at the table with me creating the, his own cardboard mask. So I like to create with my family. I always include my son when I'm making my art projects. So have fun with it. Invite maybe a sibling or a parent to come and make one with you. All right, here you can see I have a little bottle cap to my water bottle. And I wanted to make some fun circle prints on my mask, so I just dipped it in the blue paint. You can see how messy my fingers get. That's the fun part, right? Art is messy as long as we clean up after, eat, after ourselves, right? So I just dipped it in paint and stamped it on one side of my face mask. And then on the next step, I took a little pom-pom and I dipped it in orange paint and I stamped it on the green side. So you can dip all kinds of objects into paint or ink and you can stamp them um, to create cool designs and effects. If you don't have paint, you can always trace different objects around the house or draw different lines or patterns with your crayons on your mask. And then I took some colorful paper and cut them into strips. And I wanted to make some curly hair for part of my mask, so I just wrapped it around the end of my paintbrush. You can do it around a pen or a marker or a pencil, but the skinnier the better. And it just created a curly piece of, piece of paper that I ended up gluing as part of the hair once I was done with all the painting part. I continued uh, cutting out and coloring different shapes for different parts of the face. And uh, before I added the glue though, I did rearrange it on the face to make sure I was 100% sure where that I wanted it in that spot. So make sure you, you play with the design first and then I added the glue to my nose, glued it down, I glued down my eyes, I glued down my mouth, I glued the little curly hairs down, and then I took two forks and I just taped it to the back of the mask to create the hair on the other side. I thought it created a fun little spunky uh, hair to them. So after I glued everything down with all my cardboard and my paper and my found objects, I took a little bit of black paint and I added it around the edges of some of the shapes on the face to make them stand out a little bit more. Um, so you can use, remember, any objects you want to create your Pablo Picasso mouth. So you should have uh, one side of the face look a little bit different from the other side. All right, I hope you enjoyed watching how I made this fun little spunky cubism mask. I can't wait to see your mask that you come up with. So don't forget to share what you made and have fun with it. Okay. And don't forget, be you, be creative, stay positive, and make art.